Hi everyone, welcome back to Rotor Dynamics 101. Today we'll dive into the base movement in pump application, focusing on how structural resonance and excessive excitation can lead to mechanical failures. We'll be walking through a case study where these issues were successfully addressed and resolved through a combination of experimental analysis and targeted rectifications. This case study revolves around the pump application. The system has been repeatedly failing due to high vibrations, which occurred at two key frequencies, 46 Hertz, which is lube pass frequency, and 93 Hertz, which is pocket passing frequency. These issues were primarily affecting the blower's bearings, drive shaft, side cover, internal partition wall, and base plate. This equipment experienced significant damage, including bearing failures, shaft breaks, and even fractured base plates, which were all linked to high vibration levels. This recurring failures prompt to investigate and address the root causes. Vibration measurements revealed dominant peaks at both 46 Hertz and 93 Hz across the equipment. These peaks corresponded directly to the loop pass and pocket pass frequencies, indicating that these were likely contributors to the system's vibration issues. To gain a deeper understanding of vibrational behavior, operating deflection shape measurements were conducted using accelerometers. The red dots in the diagram indicates the measurement locations and the measurement found that the base plate exhibits twisting and bending motions at the excitation frequency during the normal operation. Through experimental modal analysis, the structural natural frequencies were identified and they were dangerously closer to the excitation frequencies. For example, the base plate twisting mode at 45 Hz was only 3.4% away from the loop passing frequency of 46 Hz, and the bending mode was also close. Given these findings, it is determined that the base plate needed rectification to avoid resonance. It was first considered stiffening the existing base plate, but determined that a completely new base plate design would be more effective. This decision was based on modal analysis and finite element analysis simulation. The updated base plate design stiffens the structure, increasing the natural frequency from 46 Hz to 71 Hz, providing better separation from 46 Hz loop passing frequency. Alongside structural resonance, it was also suspect that excessive excitation was contributing to the vibration issues. The video-based motion enhancement technology is used to visualize the deformation of the blower casing caused by misaligned pipes. This external force was found to largely affect both the 46 Hz and 93 Hz vibration. To confirm the effect of pipe misalignment, the suction and discharge pipes were disconnected one by one. The video-based technology allowed to observe the static deformation of the equipment, confirming that excessive pipe external forces were causing casing vibration. To resolve this issue, the pipe was realigned and cutting and rewelding them to ensure the pipe flange matches the blower nozzles. This step was taken with the base plate replacement to address both issues. After implementing the base plate rectification and pipe realignment, a large reduction in vibration amplitude were measured throughout the equipment. The system has been running smoothly without issues for many years after these issues were fixed. Today's case study on vibration issues stemmed from structural resonance and excessive excitation. The modal analysis and video-based motion enhancement technology identify the exact source of vibration. So implementing a new base plate and realigning the pipes successfully eliminate the problem. That's all for today. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. And if you have any questions, please leave comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.